Unfortunately, Pence did not exercise that power. He could have overturned the election. That statement from President Trump about the Electoral Count Act is why lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are now making sure they deal with the issue. The ECA is a law that governs how Congress counts electoral votes following a presidential election. A bipartisan group of senators are working on closing a loophole in it to make sure the vice president cannot reject state-certified results when Congress meets to count the votes. In a statement, former President Donald Trump confirmed he wanted Mike Pence to overturn the results. It reads in part, Actually, what they are saying is that Mike Pence did have the right to change the outcome, and they now want to take that right away. We need to prevent that from happening to, again. I think it is really important that we do this reform. How exactly would they update the law? It's not quite clear, but there are two priorities according to Collins. We'll make very clear that the vice president's role is simply ministerial, that he has no authority to halt the count, and that will raise the threshold uh, from one House member and one senator for triggering a challenge to a vote count submitted by the states. According to Punchbowl News, that group of senators will meet via Zoom on Friday to discuss their proposals and put a pen to it. Straight from D.C., I'm Annie Anderson.